guys so it's pretty draining um dealing with back and forth uh when there is turmoil uh when you are you know let's say leaving a position or something uh, it can be a bit chaotic on the mind um one thing i would suggest is making sure that you're still working out making sure that you're still getting water um, proper hydration proper nutrition um, because you want to make sure that your mind is is well fueled and uh, ready to think and ready to process. So if you've seen my last video, you know that right now I'm um, currently in the process of leaving the startup that I was at for the past year that I co-founded. I um, had a falling out with one of the team members who was the majority shareholder. And so here I am. I'm thinking of a topic that I think is beneficial. Um, I love to study Machiavelli. Uh, the Prince is uh, something I, I've read many times over, cover to cover. And I love when Machiavelli talks about knowing when to be a lion and when to be a fox. When to play head honcho, so when to be CEO, and when to play your department role uh, and, and serve the CEO and serve the shareholders. Always share, always serving the shareholders. But um, I, I think that that perspective is interesting because as a, as an as an agency, right? So serving multiple clients, the dynamics are different. So I technically am the CEO of my contracting agency, right? But at the same time, I run departments for other companies, other agencies as well. And in that sense, I'm a fox there. And so when I am, you know, marshalling my my clientele itself, I'm that of a lion. I'm that of the CEO. I'm that of the decision maker. What I learned in the startup, which is rather interesting, is that it's okay to switch. Sometimes I may be uh, leading my department role and I may be meeting the CEO's requests, making sure we're on good terms, managing relations there and then providing, you know, optimal client service, which is something I always aim to do. But at the same time, there is a flip side to where you can start to give pushback, to where you can start to be a bit aggressive towards these topics that you have high conviction in, and to really embody that lion role. And I think that it's all right to see your convictions through to the end. Uh, I, I think that that will allow you to respect yourself and to let go of any repressed uh, frustration um, I remember I was into like mangas and stuff when I was a teenager and one of them said all frustration, all frustration stems from one's own incompetence. And so I realized that any frustration or repressed emotions that I have that I may body inside, sometimes it may be best just to express that in an elegant, well-organized manner, but to explain to a person, um, why there may be some type of disagreement. So Knowing when to be a fox is, let's say I, I work at, you know, a fashion e-commerce company uh, and there's a big time CEO there. And I know that, you know, this person has, you know, more experience than me. Um, they mentor me and they have knowledgeable insights. I'm obviously going to manage their task flow a bit different than uh, a startup with, you know, people my age that maybe don't have as much experience where there isn't a defined leadership role. And I think it's okay to fluctuate between both. Um, you know, if you want to study Bushido, in Bushido, it's you got to you got to flow like water. You know, you got to be willing to go here. You got to be willing to go there. You got to be fluid. Um, I always really like that term and analogy. So on one end, I'm okay with being aggressive, and on the other end, I'm okay with refine. You know, consolidating my position and being the best service provider I could possibly be and knowing that I may not be marshalling that ship, but I'm marshalling my own firm, my own fund, my own operating procedures in the back end. And as long as I keep that in mind, as long as I keep my portfolio diversified and my income streams, um, you know, well expanded, uh, I think that you can find uh, a, a great, a great experience in whatever you want to do. So I hope you guys enjoy that video. I'm really enjoying making these. So, you know, give me feedback. Let me know. I know it may take some time to pick up, but, you know, happy to be here. So have a good night.